Hello everybody, welcome back. Today's video, we are getting a new pony. So I'm just at the yard picking him up now, the racing yard, where he's been in training for the last few years. I'm picking him up, I'm taking him home tonight, and he's gonna meet all the others. Very excited. Hey boy. Hey. As it turns out, he's a fresh little bugger, so we're going to put him on the horse walker for 20 minutes before I load him up and bring him home, because I don't want to deal with that on the other end. It's just little old me. Here he comes. Charlie D, everybody. We're going to have some fun. Woo! Of course, Baby Dill is here. You've come with! So I don't know that much about him yet, apart from his name is Charlie D. And I think he's six or seven. Um, and apparently he's an adorable little boy, but he does have a bit of an ego and he can be a little bit of a cheeky boy. So I'm not sure he's gonna be as straightforward as the other two but we'll take it all on. How long are we going to be waiting for him to calm down and actually be able to be loaded? Half of me thought, shall I just stick him on the horse box now and just deal with it when I get home? But actually, they've got the facilities here. I'm allowed to use them. There's no point making life difficult when you can make it a lot easier. So Charlie D, you've, you know, you've started strong. <laughs> I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. What are you doing? Dale, sis. Gate, please. just got back to my yard and it's quarter past ten it's so late but I'm not sure whether I'm gonna stable him tonight or just chuck him out with the others and see what happens tempted to just chuck him out and see what happens play it by ear so we'll see how he copes and how the others cope hey baby Boys. Good boys. Having a sniff. Who is it, Billy? Whoa. Whoa. You okay? I need to get that string off. Yeah. Ooh. He's a big boy, isn't he? He's bigger than Billy. He's thick too. Yeah. He stood all proud. Billy quite liked him. Who's that? Don't 
don't know how much you can see, but Mr. Jones booted him in the chest, but the others are being lovely and you've been so sweet with him. He's a big, big horse, bigger than I thought. So I'm gonna come out in an hour and check him. Well, half an hour maybe. But I think I am gonna leave him out. This seems to, they're being nice to him and he's not being nasty. So I think we'll leave you all out together. Head collars off. We'll just see how it goes. Now, you might not be able to see anything, but this is me, modelling a lovely head torch. It's 20 past 11 and I'm just coming up to check that the horses are, in fact, still alive and uninjured and everybody's happy. So wish me luck. I'm sure they'll be absolutely fine. Touch wood. Famous last words. Charlie D is absolutely fine. He's walking around quite a bit. Um, but the other three are just super chill. Mr. Jones and McAllister do seem a little bit insecure and a little bit needy. They think I've moved on to a new boy, but I haven't. I love them all. Still the same. Can you see Mr. Jones there? I don't know. I just, I don't want to have to eat my words in the morning, but I'm really pleased with how this has gone. And I think I'm just going to spend a few minutes with them, making sure that this isn't just an act whilst they know that I'm here and they are going to be well behaved all evening, all night, whilst I'm snoozing. Um, yeah, very positive. It's always very positive, you know me. What do you think, Mr Jones? Do we like our new boy? Mr. Jones and Charlie were the only two that were having a little bit of crossed words. Also, it's pitch black and I've just realised I'm sat right behind McAllister's bottom. Not safety first. Why is this not focusing? This is a fashion moment. This is such a look. And with the, such the bright light on my face, it just feels very Tumblr. I'm here for it. Love it. Also, it's pitch black in this paddock. I'm shining my iPhone <laughs> iPhone flash into my eyeballs. I can't see a thing. If I fall down a hole, I can just hear horses' legs going behind me. But in all seriousness, I don't think I've got anything to worry about. I think... Just do that again. I think... This was the correct choice. Leaving them out in the field, letting them just hash it out between them. I can hear, I can hear feet. <laughs> so please don't run me over. Um, Charlie. The other three are just completely ignoring him. Good boy. No idea if you can see that or not. Yeah, Billy, Mr. Jones, McAllister. They are not fast. They're like, do you know what? It's food time, it's bedtime. Charlie D, you know, fit in or get out. And I'm sure, give him half a chance, he's going to be as right as rain in the morning. None of them have got shoes on. They're all geldings. We're going to be just fine. Are you a little bit insecure? Hmm? Oh, you good boy. Thank you, Mr. Jones. So we have Mr. Jones. If you can see anything at all. McAllister. Good boy. Billy. Easy to spot the big white one. And Charlie is just walking off behind Billy. What are you doing, Charlie? What are you doing, Charlie? Wants to be left alone. You want to be left alone, don't you? 
Can you see anything at all? Good boy. There we are, they're all together. Billy, you're in charge. Look after your boys. I'm gonna see you in the morning and I'll poo pick this paddock because I haven't done it tonight. And now there's four of them on it. It's a very important job. I realise that I haven't really given Charlie much of an introduction and you probably don't know why, why I've got him, what I want to do with him and that will all become clear over time. He's basically, he came off the track a month ago. I was supposed to pick him up sooner than that. This has been in the pipeline for a very long time. I was supposed to pick him up a month ago but we had all that awful rain. My grass wasn't growing. And I just thought, I didn't, it just wasn't the time for me to have four horses. So I arranged that he'd stay where he was and he'd just be turned out there. Because all I do when I get the X-Race horses is I literally throw them in the field for a few weeks to sort of have some downtime, relax before they take their next step in their ridden careers. Um, so I thought he might as well do that there rather than with me. I actually rode him when he was a racehorse. We went up the gallops together a few times and he did look after me. I might insert a little clip if I can find it anywhere in the archives. I always see that thing floating around online. There's a saying and it says, would the child that you were be proud of the person you are today? And I think absolutely. If you'd have told me when I was a little girl that I'd be living in the countryside with my dog and four horses, I'd have been delighted with that. So life goals achieved. I'm overtired, I'm rambling. Would it be a Jennifer Rebecca video if I did not ramble nonsense? No, no it would not. That being said, I'm going to go back in the house and I'm going to go to sleep because it's gone midnight on a Saturday night. I'm in little shorts still and a coat because it's gone a little bit chilly. Um, yeah. And you know, I'm going to get well rested, ready for my first day as the carer of four horses. Good night everyone, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and wish me luck with the four little babies. It's very chilled out this morning.